This segment is being sponsored by Capital Sportsman. All right, this week's Pictures of the Week is being brought to you by Flowers Garden Center. Hey, Miss Anna is in the house. She's going to help you out in the fourth segment on how to make your thumb green or at least make you look good when you bring that potted plant in the house, okay? Hey, first picture is here. We've got, I've got to tell you, if my paper says it's seven-year-old Hunter Barnett, but he's actually eight. He is eight years old. I got a, his grandmother gave me a, a redo on the age. <laughs> Eight-year-old Hunter Barnett. And look at there, what a nice, nice fish. He's wow. got, look at what a smile he's got. Yeah, Man, awesome job there, Hunter. Our next picture here, this is 13-year-old Noah Hudgens. And Noah, you know what kind of fish that is, Chris? What is that? Uh, is it a... Is that like a trout? That's a skipjack. Skipjack. Okay, it's a skipjack. Yeah. That's right. Uh, just a, just a, a river herring is what a uh -huh. lot of people call them. But that is a skipjack and great, great catfish bait right there. Mr. Noah Hudgens, thank you so much for bringing that in. Our next picture here. This there is, okay, there here's some turkey go. pictures. <laughs> This is uh, uh, Helen Dawson. Uh, she, you know, she works here right with us here at Southern Woods and Waters, one of our pro staffers. She took this turkey, weighed 24 pounds, eight and a half inch beard, one inch spurs, and look at what a smile she's got on her wow. face. Mm. And that was out of a sniper blind too, I wanted to add that to, but her first long beard ever, and that was taken on the Sunday, which was the day after opening day. And then our next picture here, whoop, Another there one. she is again. She did it again. <laughs> this is where she went out with Mr. Roy Denny. And we want to thank Mr. Roy Denny for allowing her to come out and hunt on his place. And Roy is a great, great friend of ours. And uh, Helen was good enough and her aim was good enough. She took her second bird on Wednesday, but I mean, before the, I mean, not even a week. We, not I even think a week, we need to Chris. go with her. I'm don't telling we? you, not even a week. <laughs> and she's got two long beards. This one here had 11 inch beard, inch and a quarter spurs, and weighed 24.2 pounds. Nice. So, nice, nice bird. Helen, you got to slow down and give us some opportunities for us. Our next picture here this is of Dallas Smith, 11 year old out of Smith County with uh, Gerald Smith, and he took his turkey, nine and a quarter inch beard, 23 pounds, with his 20 gauge shotgun. That's awesome. pretty good. You gotta love pretty good. I young. love to see these yeah. kids out here. Mm -hmm. Our next picture here, Chris, this is you. Me? You. <laughs> you got on here, brother. Now tell us about this one. <laughs> yeah, that was a bird that I killed uh, Sunday afternoon of opening weekend. And uh, actually, Diane was with me, my awesome. wife. And we just went and uh, spent the afternoon in the blind and we're talking and sharing the moment. And I was just calling every now and then, you know, had a big decoy spread set up. And She didn't get upset with you when you shot? No, no, but you know, in the blind, there were a bunch of hornets flying around. Oh, no. And I was telling her, look, you gotta be quiet. You gotta be still, you know? So, <laughs> They'll get you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But no, we had a great time. This this bird come into those decoys and stuff and put on a show and uh, it was that's a great fun. afternoon. Yes, that's sir. fun, that's yes, fun. Sir. And our last picture here, I've had to throw this one in. This is Deputy Chief Michael Mullins from Mount Juliet Police Department. And uh, Captain ha Hambrick, or Chief Hambrick, asked me to say, you know, that he bought this turkey somewhere. I don't, <laughs> not quite sure where, but he bought it <laughs> off of somebody. Cause it wound up, it had 11 inch bird, 11 inch beard, inch and a quarter spurs, and weighed 27 pounds. So Deputy Chief Mullins, I'm gonna tell you a great job because I drive through Mount Juliet every now and then. I don't need somebody after me. So thank you, Deputy Chief Mullins, for sharing that picture, and thank you, Chief Hambrick, for sending it to me, buddy. I appreciate it very much. You can send your pictures to us here, Southern Woods and Waters, 474 James Robertson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219, or simply email them to me at hugh at southernwoodsandwaters.com, or better yet, Facebook me at Southern Woods and Waters Facebook page, which is where Chief Hambrick sent me uh, this picture here. 
but uh, I'll get a lot of pictures off of Facebook so send them to us we'd love to show them check us out on Facebook like us share us comment give us some uh, pictures send something we'd love to hear from our viewing audience okay so we appreciate all of that all right I have with me tonight I have Chris Peterson he is with the Upper Cumberland uh, uh, chapter of the NWTF and we, we're talking about the NWTF and now you have a huge Jake's Day that's we coming do. up. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Well Jake's is a program within the NWTF and Jake stands for Juniors Acquiring Knowledge, Ethics and Sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the chapters across the country have what we call Jake's Days or Jake's Events which could be uh, youth hunts, it could be uh, youth, uh, just youth fun days. Mm -hmm. uh, we conduct one uh, each August, the third Saturday of August. Uh, this year it'll be August the 19th, but it's a day all about kids. Uh, we, uh, through great partnerships in our community, a ton of volunteers, uh, we basically put out about 22 different activities that mm -hmm. kids can come out and enjoy of all ages. Um, from archery to paintball to skeet ranges to bb guns pellet guns bounce houses uh uh, you name it. Petting that's where zoos. I want to be. Bounce house. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I'm in. But kids are able to come out and experience the day. Uh, we don't. We through local fundraising, like the banquets we're mm -hmm. talking about, we're able to allow the kids to come and participate at no charge. Mm -hmm. uh, we put a, a Mossy Oak NWTF hat on each kid. Feed them hot dogs. Uh, this past year, uh, we had right at 600 kids plus their families. 600 attend. kids. 600. It's amazing. It's like, Goodness. It's awesome. And the key about it, too, is a lot of these kids, they wouldn't have that opportunity to experience any of that. You know, um, they just may not have the means. They may not have a parent that can help or take them. Um, but it's, you ought to just well, see. Let me ask it. you this, yeah. then, Chris. How does, because we're, we're in the same shape with uh, Nashville being a metropolitan area. A lot of children are being raised by single parent families. They sure are. Okay, yeah. and, and moms don't have the opportunity to take them to the woods or on the water or whatever like they would if, if they had a dad, That's you know. Right. So this Jake's event could be good. How does some parent though, how do they get them involved? How do they get their son or daughter involved in some of this Jake stuff? Well, on the NWTF website, www.nwtf.org, uh, mm -hmm. anybody can go to that website and uh, look at the calendar. And you can sort the calendar by your state or zip code and find different events that the local chapters are having. Okay. Um, most of the time on there through, you can find out information as to who to contact or uh, directions or the address of where the facility is. But, you know, we're really blessed in Tennessee. Our Jake's program is just huge. Uh, we've, uh, we're number two in the nation as far as the number of youth memberships we have. Tennessee. Jay, Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah, number Tennessee two. is number number two in the that's, nation. That's big. Yeah, it's big. And, um, you know, a lot of chapters are, are growing their Jake's Day events. A lot of chapters have Jake's Day youth day hunts. Turkey, a lot of them just had uh, turkey hunts. That's you right. Know, they'll take 20 or 30 kids out and... Um, you know, you got to handle. How would you to like it. to take six hundred kids to the woods? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a if turkey get drive, y'all. This won't be a turkey <laughs> hunt. This will be a turkey drive. <laughs> yeah, but Jake's Day for us is a huge event each year. We're yeah. lucky that uh, we have a great partnership with Mustard Seed Ranch, which is in Cookville. Um, and they open up their farm to us and let us come in and set up and enjoy the day with us. And, you know, plus it's kind of a win-win because the people coming out to Jake's Day also get to see a little bit about what Mustard Seed Ranch is and what they do yeah. for the kids and boys and girls that, that they help. So, Jake's event is uh, Juniors Acquiring Knowledge and Ethics yeah. through Sportsmanship and yeah. Sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. But you have women in the outdoors. Women in the outdoors. We and now that's... And, and, and I do not want people to think that that's just women learning how to hunt. Women in the outdoors is, is women getting in the outdoors, doing right. hunting, fishing, camping, all that kind of stuff. Fellowship. Fellowship, yeah. getting with other ladies and, and going out and having a good time. Um, 
Brenda Valentine is one of the oh, big huge, advocates huge of that. Advocate, she yeah. she really helps out here in Tennessee. Great uh, spokesman. Great yeah. spokesman, great ambassador, female ambassador for all of this, mm-hmm. and she does a fantastic job. Um, but she gets ladies involved, cares them hunting, and they go through schools and classes and learning how to. That's right. Before she sets them out there on their own. So it's it's a great uh, deal in that way. And there's other chapters doing the very same thing. Sure. Uh, then we have Wheeling Sports. Oh, that's just, boy, that's at the heart. You know, it's just a that's right. great thing. Just that they, uh, they do for the Wheeling Sportsmen, you know, and, and the, the disabled vets. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we we have chapters that take a lot of the guys out of Fort Campbell each year, deer hunting, turkey hunting. You know, it's just and to see the appreciation that they have for that and what it means to them to help them get out and experience God's great outdoors. That's it's right. Just, that's what it's all about. You know? All right. So we've kind of hit some basic uh, forums that that we do as the NWTF as a whole here in the state of Tennessee. But what we want to talk about, and, and I want everybody to realize, is every one of those events costs a little money. Yep. And it takes money to, to do those kind of events, uh, and it takes money to touch lives. It does. Uh, and that's sad, but it's a, it's a fact. So these banquets that we hold, each chapter holds at least one uh, to raise money for that, that county or that chapter. Out of the, every dollar, 89 cents of it comes back. So NWTF that's in Edgefield, South Carolina, headquartered, headquartered there, only uses 11 cents out of that's every it. dollar. That's, that's it. it. And, and it's not only nationwide, it's international wide. That's right. Yep. And so that's a lot. It is. And that, that 89 cents goes straight back into what we talked about, land habitat improvement, land conservation, land, land acquisition, acci- acquisition access it goes back into all those programs we just talked about the jake's day the wheeling sportsman's women in the outdoors all of that program i mean it buys the equipment it buys the the tools needed to enable all of that it and also pays for biologists to come in there and take a look at independent biologists it does. to come into the state to help our own twra biologist set a you know see what's going on with our turkey population not only turkey and here's something else. I didn't know if everybody realizes this, but we were raising so many turkeys here in Tennessee <laughs> that we actually traded turkeys to Canada for Canadian elk to be brought back here to Tennessee. Tennessee that's right. So what's at uh, 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 Royal Blue uh, Park, those elk actually were traded for uh, by turkeys. Okay, that's right. Turkeys. So, you know, we don't realize how far reaching our NWTF really is and how they're so involved. Well, and that's a great point. And what people, is, it's important for people to understand that, you know, NWTF started all about turkeys. And mm-hmm. turkey uh, restoration has been one of the, the greatest Biggest projects successes out there. of all time. That's right. And, and, you know, we're blessed to have an abundance of turkeys in Tennessee and several states do. But that's not what all the NWTF's about. We partner with Ducks Unlimited, with QDMA, with Pheasants Forever, with the TWRA, TWRA. with the local, oh, local mm-hmm. state parks. And what people need to understand is, yes, we like to hunt, we like to fish, but everything we do benefits anybody Everybody. that likes the outdoors whether you're a bird watcher or canoe, photographer photographer rock climber i mean it camper, all takes habitat if you just like to camp it all takes habitat it all takes and it's habitat. going away it I, is. Mean, I mean it, it quick and it, it, pastures that i used to hunt in are now apartment complexes <laughs> you know that's that's just it that's just the way it is well and now, hold, hold on now we got we got to go right now we got to do our product of the week and this ooh. week's product of the week is being sponsored by caney fork outdoors two locations donaldson plaza shopping center right here in beautiful nashville tennessee and the other one is big rock over here uh on the caney fork river right there as you're getting off at edgar evans state park on center hill you come up to the the was it four way four way stop that's big rock right there stop in and tell them you said you saw it here on Southern Woods and Waters. And let me show you what we got tonight. This is an awesome deal. I called Jonathan Hayes with Do All Outdoors today. And I saw this on Facebook and I said, you got to let me show it tonight. 
Guys, we've had, and gals, we've had a lot of wind here lately. Wind, it never fails for me. I'll be hunting in a blind, I'll go put my decoys out, I go back in the blind, I sit down, I wait for daylight, I, daylight goes up, and I go, what's that one laying down for? The wind is blowing <laughs> them down, and they're laying down. A gobbler's not going to come into a bunch of laying down hens. <laughs> He's just not. Sideways. He was sure. sideways hens. He's just not. And they get sideways with him anyway, so he doesn't want all that. So get one of these. If you look, it's got like the, the dog steak, you know, that you put out for your dog. Nice. It's got the steak that you can go screw it into the ground, uh, and it's got the tea right here that you use, and then it's got the uh, uh, swivel up here at the top, so that, that decoy will swivel around, look like he's a real uh, hen decoy out there. Do All Outdoors. Check them out at doall.com and tell Jonathan you saw it here on Southern Woods and Waters. Hey, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to open up our phone lines here at 737-7767. Be right back with more Southern Woods and Waters. Mm -hmm. 